Hey everyone, this is Brian from Motive Training and today we're gonna to talk more about hip extension. So, so far we covered what it is, we covered how to do it if you're having lumbar extension issues and today we're gonna to talk about why we wanna have good internal rotation of the hip in order to extend it. So we're gonna have RJ kick his leg behind him and what you will see people with a lack of internal rotation do during hip extension exercises is they will externally rotate, okay? So the leg might even abduct as well. It might come out to the side, but what you'll see is that foot will ride toward the midline. So that is external rotation of the hip. You will feel your glutes more because they help you with external rotation, but that is not accessing hip extension. You are doing external rotation, abduction, and maybe some extension. So what we want is we want that knee to hug the midline we want it to stay nice and straight, and then we want it to kick straight up in the air. Notice how much harder it is for him to actually lift his leg up. Is he going to feel his glutes as much? Maybe not. He might feel his hamstrings a lot more, especially with a bent knee, but he is training terminal hip extension. Nothing else is getting involved. He's not getting rotation through his femur inside. He is not getting any lumbar spine movement. He is getting strict hip extension and nothing else. And that is the goal when you're training hip extension, it makes sense. So keep in mind, if you're trying to go in the hip extension behind you, you do not want to have a great degree of external rotation. So that foot should not drop toward the midline. It should not abduct, it shouldn't be out to the side. It should be straight back. The meat of your femur on the front should be facing straight down and you should kick as high as you can without having to compensate anywhere else.